Amazon, AdSense, rankings, money. That's why we're here to learn. Now, if you came to this video hoping to hear about someone's opinion, theory, idea, strategy, close it out. You're not going to get any of that here. You're going to get actual case study. Actual case study, which is very rare in the online marketing industry. There's a handful of people out there doing it, and that's the way we want to do things. We figured we, we respect your intelligence enough. We don't want to just throw out some ideas, opinions, and then push a service or a product on you. Because that's not the way to do business. So, you are going to learn how to rank an AdSense website. How to rank an Amazon affiliate website. We're going to show you a keyword we're ranking for that gets 12,000 exact searches a month. That's right, 12,000 exact searches a month. And we're currently on page one for it. And we're still climbing. The goal is to get to number one. So if you're looking at this video on YouTube, please click on the link in the description. You're going to go to the blog post that breaks down everything for you. And you can see the exact methods used. Again, if someone ever asks in the future, can you make money with AdSense? How do you rank an AdSense website? Link them this video. You'll be doing them a great favor. Um, so how to pick a niche. Now, we picked this niche, which is robot vacuums. My, my brother picked it because he's a smart guy, obviously. It worked out. But I think you have to ask yourself, what are you interested in? You know, there's a million niches out here. Everything's a niche. Toothbrush is a niche. Doorknobs. What is this? This thing, this thing's probably, what, five bucks? I don't know. Santa's a niche. Christmas is a niche. Everything's a niche. Doors are a niche. My point is, is that pick something that you want to learn more about or you love talking about it or you're going to hate your life because I know more about robot vacuums than I really should. You know, <laughs> do I need to know about all the dual bristle action going on and the, the, the HEPA filter? You know what I mean? So it's scary how much you learn about a niche when you're trying to become an authority in it, which obviously you have to do. So first and foremost, please pick something you are interested in or you're going to hate yourself, the project's going to fail, and it's just, it's just going to be miserable. So keyword research goes into picking a niche. Now, you're going to want to use Google AdWord Keyword Planner. Now, yeah, it's free, but it's Google, and everything Google does is pretty amazing. You're getting it right from the horse's mouth. So you type in robot vacuum in the Google AdWord Planner, you know, should I, is this a niche worth pursuing, and bam, right away you see... Yes, it shows 12,000 exact searches a month, and it has high competition, which is good because that means it's high competition amongst people bidding on it, which is what you want to see for AdSense. And then next, you want to look at the cost per click. And now this is sitting around a dollar for all the different keywords, which is really good because a dollar a click and you're sitting pretty well. Uh, so keyword research is done. Next, you got to get a domain. Um, I'm not too strict on this with a system or anything like that. I think you can have branded names, but at the end of the day, Google is where we're going to make our living. So let's get a keyword rich domain, but not an exact match domain. So we went with robotvacuumhut.com. Uh, it's something that has the keyword. It's a little brandable. I've made a really cheesy image graphic on there with a robot next to a hut. Uh, just threw it together. Uh, go to the website, check it out as well, follow along this case study. On-page optimizations. Okay, this is critical. Uh, many of you already know about on-page optimizations. You're going to want to have the, the domain optimized, check. Now you're going to want to have the title done. So we chose, I believe it was, robot vacuum, because that's our target phrase, and then you want to cut it off from the rest. You don't want to go, you don't want to have robot vacuum deals or robot vacuum reviews if you're trying to win robot vacuum. Uh, what we've noticed is that if you put robot vacuum and then a hyphen or one of those big lines, whatever those things are, I love those, that's what we're using for it. Uh, after that, you want to put your ancillary phrases, your supporting phrases, so robot vacuum, robot vacuum reviews, and then a reiteration of those words, but not the same, best robotic vacuums. Okay, so we have the singular plural and then a synonym or two in there in your title. That's how you want to approach titles. Same thing for your inner pages as well. So, name of the vacuum, hyphen, name of the vacuum review, and maybe some stats about it. You know, is this the best pet vacuum, allergy vacuum, whatever. Um, so, your on page is done. Content, that content is big, obviously, on an AdSense website. You cannot have a thin website. It cannot just be, like, be thin 404 type pages where 
Uh, someone comes to the page and then they go, what do I read? What do I do? Do I click on an ad? They just click on an ad. Obviously, that's not the goal of AdSense, so you cannot do that. Uh, so you're going to have to build out content. And for this, we decided to go with reviews because the review allows content, allows a physical product to be reviewed, which segues into Amazon affiliate marketing. Now, we have, we're going to, the end goal is to have AdSense and Amazon on the same page as complementary services. If they don't buy the product, maybe they'll, maybe they'll find uh, interest in the ad that is shown. Um, but now the million dollar question is how did we rank it? I know that we set up the on page and everything, uh, but how do we do it with the off page? Uh, first and foremost, I highly recommend attaching your authorship or some type of semantic markup, uh, whether that's with the star review system or your own authorship. And if you don't understand the power of Google authorship, check out our other posts on how I became the most published Google author on the interwebs. Um, so link building and social network signals are what you're going to, it's what's going to be your foundation for getting this website to rank. And just because it's an AdSense and Amazon affiliate based website, the same principles apply to nearly every website. So the on page is set. Now you need social network signals. These are things like Google pluses, Google, uh, you know, Google plus comments, Facebook likes, Facebook shares, Twitter tweets, Twitter retweets, Twitter favorites, Pinterest pins, Pinterest repins, Pinterest likes, Pinterest comments, stumbles, LinkedIn shares, things like this. So Google is awesome now that it's, it's taking into account all these different things that are going on in the web. It's not just backlinks anymore. Uh, the algorithm is so, so much more than that now. So social network signals are huge. So that, that is the first step to any successful website. And keep in mind that no one's going to link to your website right off the bat. Unless you're doing something you know, out of this world, uh, or something crazy. You're probably, you know, if you if if your interest was diapers, and your niche is, you know, the you know the diaper factory dot net or whatever it is, uh, chances are that you're going to have to do a significant amount of pushing a boulder up the hill before other people help you push it along and link to you. Uh, this is true of MySpace. You know, MySpace was the biggest marketing force on the internet. Tom was not your friend, and it was not backed by some organic growth. It was inorganic. It was a marketing agency behind the whole thing. But I digress. So you're going to have to do some, some things on your own. You're either going to have to do them yourself or you're going to have to invest the money into a service. Now these are the services that we provide that we use internally. You do not need to use these services. You can do them yourself or you can go with a competitor. We're simply showing you exactly what we did. Uh, we're 100% transparent with everything. So I'm not going to list every single thing that we did, but we did do social network signals and we got quality backlinks and quantity backlinks back to our website. Um, so the next step, now that we've done all these things and now we're starting to rank and we're starting to get all these long tail searches, the next step of this would be to, obviously you want to monetize it, but I didn't discuss this too much, is building out your content. Now, if you have Google Analytics installed or, or PWIC installed, which is a tracking, uh, tracking code software, the same as uh, analytics, you can see where you're getting traffic from and then build on those pages. Uh, but if you aren't ready to build out more reviews and your fingers are hurting and cramping and you know, you know what, I did 20 reviews, I'm done. Now it's time to, to, to maximize those 20, so you want to rank as well as you can for them. So you want to link build to the home page, and then if you can, if the budget allows, or if it looks like the site's going to be a success, then you can link page, link build each inner page as well. So monetization, we got to get a return on our investment because after all, SEO is an investment in your website. So is social media marketing, and so is your website. Your website itself is an investment from start to finish. Uh, so you're going to want to put install Google AdSense on your website. It's a very simple process. You apply for AdSense. They give you a code. You put it on your website. Uh, in a few days you, or hours, whatever long it takes, you get approved and ads start showing. Um, also, you're going to want to sign up for Amazon's affiliate program. So for one of our reviews, we did a review on the iRobot. Actually, let's do Dirt Devil Whiskers we did a review on. It's, a, it's one of the cheaper versions, lower tier. It's about $100. So we write the review on it. We have a relevant YouTube video. You want to make sure you add, add value to the end user, which uh, the features, benefits, video, place to buy, and then related ads is a lot of value. 
So you need to do something along those lines to justify your website even existing, but you want to be able to make it easy for them to buy the product that you are reviewing. So we have a nice widget that's pulled directly from Amazon that shows the price of the product. They can click it, go to Amazon, and then if they buy it, we get a cut of, we get an affiliate commission. Now granted, it's only something like 4%, uh, but it's still better than nothing. It's passive as well. Um, and then AdSense, you get paid for activity. So if somebody clicks on a link, you get paid instantly. Um, now, of course, you can't encourage clicks or anything like that, so you have to mess around with the placement. Um, so you see the ranking results. It's been a steady rise. This has been one heck of a journey. We're really happy the way this came out. Uh, and the money earned, I know that's the big question. Well, how much did you earn? Um, you're going to have to subscribe to get that information because that's going to be another video, another blog post, uh, because how much we make from this is really up to us with testing and trying out different things. Uh, it's not really dependent on the ranking side of it. If you can get the rankings, you can get the money. Uh, so go ahead and if you have a passion, go out, register a domain and get it all set up. But know at the end of the day that it's an investment. Uh, and if you aren't financially secure to invest in a side project, then I would not recommend AdSense or Amazon Affiliate Marketing. I would recommend focusing on your bread and butter or providing a service so you can get a higher margin uh, and when you help other people succeed, you will in turn become successful yourself. Uh, that's a little Ogmandino, Earl Nightingale, spiel of the video. Okay, guys, so we learned how to rank an AdSense website. We showed you all the steps we did for it. We also showed you the actual website that is ranking, robotvacuumhut.com. Now, of course, things could change in the future, uh, but we, we created the website with long-term visions, high-quality links, white hat techniques, and best of all, high quality content. So we are in compliance with both Amazon and Google, and now we're gonna see how much we make from this, and we're gonna see what we can reap and uh, what our rewards will be. Again, fellow webmasters, you, you know, congratulations on not Xing this out and uh, asking somebody on their opinion because that's the weakest form any professional can take. Uh, if you love case studies where people show exactly what is done, then please subscribe. Give us a like, and uh, we'll see you on the next video, and uh, happy you're with us. Have a great day. Take care.